Breaking now out of Denver, Colorado, we are getting a first look at the 24-year-old man who's charged in the deadly rampage at a Denver movie theater. There he is, James Holmes, being arraigned after authorities say he shot 70 people, 12 of them dead. You can see his hair is a reddish-orange. He looks, well, out of touch in some ways. But we wish you a good afternoon. This is Holmes' first cold court appearance. He has been held in solitary confinement since Friday, and authorities say he is refusing to cooperate with them. ABC's Rebecca Stevens has details on the grave punishment he faced. Mass murder suspect James Holmes was brought from solitary confinement to his first court appearance through an underground tunnel. In the brief hearing, the judge told Holmes why he is being held. You also have a right to have a jury trial. The Arapahoe County District Attorney tells ABC News that she will consider the death penalty for Holmes after Given discussing the it with the, charges, the victim's families. The 24-year-old former doctoral student is accused of killing 12 order. moviegoers and injuring 58 after firing a hail of bullets during the midnight premiere of a Batman sequel. Investigators combing through the contents of Holmes's apartment tell ABC News they found a computer and more evidence of a Batman obsession, including a post and a Batman mask. They describe the 800 square feet space as a bomb factory and a death trap. This apartment was designed to kill whoever entered it. Police also found 30 potential bombs with a control panel, scores of bullets, and 10 gallons of gasoline. After dropping out of his doctoral program last month, he applied online to join a Colorado gun range. But the owner became concerned after listening to Holmes's phone message, which he described as bizarre, freakish. Uh, hello, I'm James. A stark contrast to this image obtained by ABC News of a smiling and relaxed Holmes at 18 years old giving a speech at a science camp. Authorities are now asking what happened to him. Holmes is back in solitary confinement at this hour. Police say he is not cooperating and his parents remain silent. In Centennial, Colorado, Rebecca Stevens for ABC News.